There is nothing so disastrous as a rational investment policy in an irrational world. Hello everybody, today's July 6th, 2012. Well, John Maynard Keynes would be very proud of Denmark as we find out that yesterday the central bank moved into the Alice in Wonderland of economics into the negative interest rates area. The central bank of Denmark cut interest rates by a quarter point Thursday following the European central bank who cut earlier in the day. Rates on CDs went from 0.05 down to negative 0.2. So this means that the national banks have to pay the central bank to keep money on hand. And don't think this isn't going to affect the people who hold money at the banks because they're losing millions of dollars now. So forget you being paid 50 cents <laughs> for every thousand dollars that you let the bank hold of your paper nothings. How about you paying two bucks to let them hold your money on certificate of deposit? With people trying to leave this, the euro, you know, they're flooding into the kroner. So in order for the central bank to keep the value of the currency near the euro, not to affect the um, exports, they have to depreciate the value of the paper nothings used by the people in Denmark. So, you know, they don't care that at the expense of the citizens, they're going to be devaluing the currency. They just say, well, we don't want to negatively affect our exports, so we got all these people rushing in here, so we're just going to have to um, move into negative interest rate territory. So, you know, really incredible times that we're in, and with central banks around the world printing paper and interest rates going down you know you could get a decent interest rate you want to move over to like a 10-year grease note for 28 percent <laughs> don't know that you get your money back though you might get a couple uh, payments at 28 percent but um, or Portugal's around 10 percent but you know we know why these countries have these high interest rates so countries who have been prudent you know with their with their borrowing and everything have re real low interest rates and the savers and pensioners and retirees are being punished uh, you're being encouraged to borrow which you have to do in a debt-based economy system you need to keep it alive you got to have the people borrowing more money you don't want them saving so you know, people are being forced to borrow, like the super low rates here in the U.S., Clash, cash for clunkers, which was a horrible program we had a couple of years ago, where you turn in a perfectly well-running car, it's maybe 15 years old, and they'll smash it for you and pour chemicals in the engine so it won't work anymore, and you could take out a new loan and they'll give you a little uh, $3,000 cut on the price of the new car. Don't forget, that's not a just tax-free gift. Huh? You got to pay tax on that. That's something people found out afterwards. So, you know, just encouraging everyone to go into debt, uh, overspend. That's what this is all about. So, savers are being punished. And heck, I mean, before you start paying the banks to hold our money, might as well just get a damn gun and a safe and get some real money and stand there and guard it yourself.